Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is my long-term follow-up for iOS 13 Developer Beta 5. Now the software has been out for approximately a week and if you follow me here on the channel you already know that I like to give you guys a long-term follow-up to talk about the battery, my experience with the software, any bugs that I may come across. I also like to talk about my YouTube community poll where you guys have input and tell me everything that's been going on with your side of the story so we get a bigger picture. So we'll talk about that towards the end of the video and of course I want to share with you guys Guys today some amazing wallpapers courtesy of Apple Eye Designer, one of my favorite designers. I'll link him down below his Twitter and his Instagram. These belong to the home application. If we go to the home application on the latest beta and we go to settings and we go to the home settings here, we'll find that the new wallpapers that are available here will now be available in the description down below again courtesy of Apple Eye Designer. So check out the links in the description. Let's go ahead and take a look at how's iOS 13 developer beta 5 been working over the past few days. Now, before we do continue, I do want to give a shout out to our sponsor, IVC VPN. Nowadays, we connect to open Wi Fi networks everywhere we go. Protect your personal data, your IP address, and keep all of your internet activity private. IVC VPN also allows you to unlock internet restrictions, okay? So, rather it is a streaming service or just full access to the internet with no limitations, IVC VPN will provide you with over a thousand servers in 100 locations worldwide with unlimited bandwidth at high speeds. Click the links in the description for coupon code 20 where you can get $16 off a five-year plan or 20% off any of the current existing plans available. Thank you to IVC VPN for sponsoring today's video. First, let's go ahead and talk about my personal experience with the software. As I mentioned, I've tested the software over the past five days on the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 10S, and the iPhone SE as well. Now, I do have to say by far, this is the best beta so far as it should be, right? More betas mean more stability, more improvement, or at least that's the way it should be. There's a bug within the software that I've submitted that's been plaguing me over the past few days and is a dictation bug. Every time I use the dictation, or not every time, but sporadically when I use dictation inside of an application, it would freeze and crash the application. Rather, it's a third-party application from the App Store or an application from Apple. It would freeze and crash. It's very, very annoying. Now, I've noticed some lag in the App Switcher as well, switching through applications using these swiping gestures. For whatever reason, I've been having issues, especially on the iPhone XS and the iPhone 10R. I haven't tested the 10s Max, but I do have those issues on my devices, Face ID devices, of course. Now, in the mail application, on all devices, I've had issues where email threads will kind of combine each other and be off-ordered, and sometimes emails will not even load. Composing emails will sometimes crash. The Photos application will crash every now and then as well. Uh, just minor bugs, but yet still some bugs within the software. I know a lot of you guys are asking, should I install this software? If you're willing to put up with a few bugs, I would say iOS 13 Developer Beta 5 is really good. It's actually pretty good software. We'll talk about the battery towards the end of the video here, but let's talk about the YouTube community poll. Here's where I ask you, how is the beta working for you? We have 5,500 votes. 63% uh, of those votes were great beta. So, so far, it looks like most of you guys are experiencing a great experience with the latest beta. 29% of you guys say good, but still some bugs. That's where I sit. And then we have a 9% on not good. So 90% of you guys are having issues with the beta. Let's take a look at some of the comments. So the most popular comment here says you should wait until the public beta is released in order to submit these polls. I've noted that. Thank you for commenting that. It makes a lot of sense from here on out. I will wait for the public beta before I ask these questions so everyone has a chance to actually vote. Thank you so much for that comment. Battery is worse, but pretty much good so far. Now, I would like to know which device you're talking about. We will talk about the battery here towards the end of the video, but I do agree, good so far. Third-party applications, some of you guys have agreed with this comment, third-party applications are finally fixed. Thank you, Apple. So I've had some issues, as I mentioned, with dictation, but third-party apps are being fixed as the software progresses. Yes, this is a good comment as well. Quick reply, an iMessage bug is still there in beta five. I hope they fix that soon. Yes, yes, I totally agree. I hope they fix this soon. I've been counting this bug as well. Now, some of you guys have noted that you did not receive the public beta update. I did note on my developer beta update video that you do have to remove the profile for the beta and then reinstall it in order to get this beta 5 to populate on your device under software settings for whatever reason it looks like there's an issue there so if you don't see the beta populate just uninstall the profile for the beta reinstall it 
Preboot your device and you should be good to go. Very fast and smooth. I agree to a certain extent as well. Now you guys can browse through a lot of these comments here. A music app is freezing. So I do agree that the music app sometimes freezes, especially using CarPlay and the springboard crashed twice. So it looks like this gentleman here is experiencing a springboard crash on his device as well. Guys, please comment your device as well when you go to this community post so everyone understands which devices are having which issues. But you guys can read across all these comments and this will give us a bigger picture and understanding in case you have any issues that you will understand and maybe other users are also having. And of course, you can always submit the bugs using the feedback application that Apple provides for betas. Now, in regards to battery, I do have to say that the battery could be better, but it isn't the worst battery as of yet. Right now, I came across any anywhere from eight to eight and a half hours of battery usage on the 10R and the 10S. On the iPhone SE, I had anywhere from six and a half to sometimes pushing it to seven, depending on the usage. But battery so far, I have to say is okay. It isn't the best, but it's okay so far. It is beta five, looking forward to beta six. This has been my follow-up, my long-term follow-up for iOS 13 developer beta five. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.